So I don't know if you guys, good, right? Can see that in the back. I'm gonna tell you what it says in one second if you can. So I'm really proud to work for the number one television station in Washington, one of the best stations in the country. I'm proud that I won an Emmy Award a couple of years ago, as Helen said. And I am oh so proud of my three beautiful kids. But I am also, today, especially, looking out at you guys, so proud to be a Gaithersburg High School graduate. So if you can't see this, it says G-Berg for life, baby. And I do wear it. I'll be selling them at the back afterwards. I'm just kidding. I want to touch on three things today. One for each letter of G, H, and S. These are things that I strive to do in my life, and these are things that people I most admire, who I find are the most content and the most happy in their lives, do on a daily basis. These are also things that any of you can do. They don't take any particular talent, any special skill. You just have to commit yourself to living them. G is for generosity. And I'm not talking about generosity with money. I'm talking about generosity of yourself. I'm talking about the little things that you can do for other people in your life that might seem insignificant but they can have a lasting impact. I have a little story for you. So I had a friend whose six-year-old daughter was sick with cancer. She was at St. Jude Hospital in Memphis, and she became friends with a little boy named Logan. He was at the hospital too, and he was also fighting cancer. Even at age 12, Logan was at the end of his journey. Now, Logan was a huge, and when I say huge, I mean huge, Alabama football fan. So my friend called me, and she asked if I, being in the media, would have maybe any connections to Alabama football. I didn't. But I started making some calls. I finally got somebody on the line with the athletic department, and within just a couple of hours, amazingly, Alabama's star player, the quarterback at the time, his name, A.J. McCarron, was calling Logan. But that's not all. There was an All-American. He was a lineman. His name was Barrett Jones. Now, Barrett was also bound for the NFL in a multi-million dollar deal. Barrett, of course, did not know me. He had never met Logan. He had no connection to Logan's family. And yet, he drove four hours to St. Jude, to visit Logan, just to sit with him, to talk football, to hang out. Barrett gave Logan a thrill, his jersey, and lots of other Alabama gear, and filled many hearts that day. Logan passed away when Barrett left. That act of generosity was everything to Logan that day to his family, to his friends. But it forever impacted my heart, too. So much so that when my husband and I adopted one of our children a couple of years ago, we named her Barrett. On to H now, hard work. Now, this is one of those things that's kind of easy to say, right? Hard work pays off, do your best, all of that. I'm not really talking about long hours, though. That sometimes can help, of course. What I'm talking about is not giving up. What I'm saying is work can be hard, and that's okay. Now, I basically, at this point in my life, do have my dream job. This is where I always wanted to be. But it took a long time to get here. Actually, your entire lives, because I graduated in 1997. <laughs> I first worked for a cable access station in Rockville, and then at a station in Hagerstown. I started my day at 11 p.m., and I worked through the night. 
I was the writer, I was the editor, I was the producer and the news anchor. I lost track of what day and night it was. That was hard. I sent in one year 60 resume tapes to news directors across the country. I did not get one response, not one. Years later, I had a news director tell me he had resumes from a dozen other blondes. Why would he hire me? Okay. You're going to have plenty of people tell you no. You need to tell yourself yes. Now, speaking of yourself, S is for self. And I'm not talking about a selfie, although while I'm up here, will you indulge me because I kind of have this idea. Principal Dimmick was telling me you guys have on your caps awesome stuff, and I was not allowed to do this when we were here. If you guys will all tilt your heads a little bit forward, I'm going to do a selfie and get you guys in the background. Is that all right? All right, lean them forward. Let's see it. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Jeez. That's what my kids say. Thank you, guys. But seriously, self, you're going to probably hear a lot of people to tell you to trust yourself, to love yourself, to believe in yourself, to be yourself. And to an extent, all of that really is good advice. But I'm going to advise you to do something that's harder, but for far more important. Judge yourself. Continue to think about what you can fix. Sometimes things will go wrong in your life. You're going to have a problem at a job, a problem with a friend, or there's going to be a situation where it seems like there just is no right answer. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to look in the mirror. I want you to think about what you could have done better. It's so easy to find somebody else to blame but it's hard to take a closer look inside. GHS, not just Gaithersburg High School, but a way to live your life. Generosity, hard work, self. And I know that all of you can do all of those things. So with that, class of 2019, congratulations, good luck. Thank you for having me speak today, and go Trojans.